Hello Mystic Tribe, this week we are doing what are their feelings for you. So we are going to be looking at the person's energy that you are asking about and going into their emotions. So really neat reading for you guys this week. Now before I get cracking on it, um, a couple of you have been messaging me saying how's the pregnancy going? So I thought I'd give you a little bit of a bump update. Uh, she is halfway through now, she's poking our ear. Um, but other than that she's doing pretty, pretty good other than the normal kind of pregnancy achy pains and rubbish um it's easier i'm finding it easier to carry a girl let's see how it ends up but at this point in time finding it easier to carry a girl than i did hunter because hunter's pregnancy if you guys can remember two years ago it was um it was pretty difficult but now she's rocking and rolling and she's quite comfortable in there and kicking away i feel like kicking so halfway halfway then i'll be going on maternity leave so <laughs> we'll deal with that bridge when we come to it uh but if you need me, you know where I am. Find me on Instagram. I do same day return on voice note readings and I have spaces for video readings. I'll put all the comments, all the deets in the comments for you. Right, their feelings. So, for this reading today, I was really drawn to the black and white decks. So this one over here is, um, I can't remember what it's called now. It's one I've had a while. The Tarot of the Toiling Hands. It's become one of my favourite decks, actually. Um, and I picked it up at Witchfest last year. But it's, it is one of me. I really love this deck. And by a tattoo artist. And if you like colouring, she has a colouring book. And you can kind of colour it all in as well. So, Tarot of the Toiling Hands. And this one is Tarot of the Abyss. Now, the reason why Spirit are drawing us to black and white decks today is because it kind of goes into the grey area. So, to go into their feelings, we kind of need to bridge the gap in between what their thoughts are saying and their emotions. Number one. Number two. Go to the deck you are most drawn to pick that deck and as always it works on the mutual energy between you all i also have the lenoma out should i feel that we need them so going into your person's feelings for you don't think tell you hunter started nursery this week i can't believe it <laughs> wow and um, so yeah no, it's a, a, a good week it's been a good week feelings apart from the fact i spilled coffee dry coffee all over my hands and i had water on my hands and i've got coffee all over my hands that did happen also minor inconvenience right now your person's feelings for you what are they feeling the person you're asking about what are they feeling for you let's see where we end up one two so the way that the cards jump out is how um, spirit align your energy. So they influence the decks to let the cards jump out the way that they do. So if you were sitting in front of me, I would pull them all out and you would pick the, the cards that you want. But when you're online, I get spirit to influence the cards in front of you. Right. Your person's emotions for you. Right off the bat. So the cards that you've got, for those of you that read Tarot, and I will show you, you've got three of cups. You've got the Four of Cups, you've got the Six of Wands, you've got the Hierophant and you've got the Nine of Cups, okay? So right off the bat with these cards, we have a energy of cups coming in quite strongly. So there are emotions here, okay? All cups, cups always signify emotions. It's, it's ruled by the element of water. It's always emotions. So the fact out of five cards, you've got three cup energy saying that there is an emotional energy going on here. So they have got feelings for you. But what Spirit are saying to me as I've gone into the energy of this is they are being a little bit standoffish and not allowing you into their heart. So you're going to feel that you don't know where you stand with them, that perhaps you're pulling teeth with them um, and they haven't allowed that energy. They haven't allowed you to go into their emotions that they've allowed you so far and then kind of put a bit of a brick wall up and said you know what i don't know if i want to let you further in so let's talk through these three of cups to begin with so this is good this is a good sign over here we have the emotional side of things going on with you guys and we have a celebration we have joy we have friendship you might have met your person at social occasions social events or this could be to come that you are going to be meeting them seeing them having that joy and having that celebration there and i do feel that they want to see you with this card as well i do feel that they want to see you I do feel that they were kind of like to express their emotions towards you as well. Um, though you've still got that brick wall there. So you have this, you know, this this power energy coming up with you guys. 
You also have that your person might indulge in a little bit of escapism behavior, so they might enjoy drinking or partying a bit too much or whatever it is that they do to avoid things in their life. They have this escapism behavior as well. So this could be another reason why you're pulling teeth with it. So social event either to come or just happened where you'll see them. Looking forward to seeing you. Um, also indulging in perhaps the shadowy aspects of life. Four of Cups feeling a bit fed up with the situation your person is very aware that they aren't handling this in the right way okay so they know that they have feelings for you as i said cops are ruling they know that they have emotions for you but it frightens them a little bit which is where this escapism behavior comes in because those emotions are real for you when that realness hits them they have this panic over it or have a panic over it like oh i don't know what to do i don't know how to cope <laughs> So you have this kind of reflection on it all going inside themselves and they're getting irritated by the way they are handling their own emotions. So emotions are there, looking forward to seeing you, looking forward to spending time with you. Social events, friendship is definitely there, um, but getting fed up because they, they feel that there could be something more here, but they're stopping themselves from that happening. Let me just ask the Lenoma why they are stopping themselves from this relationship moving forward at the moment. Why are they stopping themselves? Oh, hands up. Why are they stopping themselves from this relationship moving forward with you? Let's see what we got. Okay, so we've got messages. We've got communication coming in. So it's like they don't know how to express their emotions. They don't know how to express how they're feeling. Um, and they just want to go with the flow of it, go with the ride of it and see where you end up. Okay, so that's why they are acting the way they are acting as well. They just want to see where it all ends up. We've got the Six of Wands coming up next. Okay, so this is talking about victories, joy, success. So there are emotions here. There are real feelings here. They can see that this can go the distance. The biggest bit of advice that Spirit can give you is to really kind of just go with the flow of it because you are going to be hearing from them. They will be messaging you. They will be reaching out to you. They will be communicating with you and they want to meet up with you. So that's pretty cool, right? So going with the flow of it, that's what your person is doing. They just want to take the time of it and see where you end up. We've got the Hierophant coming on, spiritual connection. Now this could partially be why your person is in this Four of Cups energy over here, partially why they're freaking out, because this is a more divine connection. So it's possible that your twin flames or higher vibrational soulmates, perhaps you have a karmic energy. It's more than just a, hi, nice to meet you, I'm a muggle type thing. It's more than that. It has deeper roots and deeper energy going on. And because of that, um, it can also give you a person, oh, my spirit just said heart palpitations, give them that little bit of like boom, 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 um, and panics them a little bit. With it being the Hierophant, you know, it is the walk in between the worlds. You are being divinely guided. You'll probably find if you are twin flames, you've got twin flame guides that are merging your energies together. I do see a coming together with this relationship. It's what you both want. And with the Nine of Cups at the end, okay, so Nine of Cups is all about your dreams, your wishes, everything kind of coming true. You have things working out for you. So your person overall has very strong emotions for you. They want to just go with the flow. Perhaps starting off as friendship and building up enjoying the social events, enjoying the social occasions, feeling a little bit fed up with their own actions because they can see the potential between the two of you. Having a very divine connection can also panic them so they might go into a little bit of escapism behaviour. Enjoying the times that you spend together, enjoying the taxing, and if you're not in communication, that is coming soon. Um, and you've got the potential for the two of you to make this work because that is ideally what your person wants. If they don't get them, their nick is in a twist over it, their big boy pants in a twist. If they don't do that, this can work out between the two of you. Okay, and that's step number one. Do 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 do. Okay, so I'm gonna have a sip of coffee and then we're gonna scoot over to deck number two. My house is so quiet today without Hunter. It's bizarre to sit here and just have, have quiet. It's been how many years since I've read for you and I haven't had a, my parents babysitting him or um, having him play downstairs. And it's silence. Like, can't believe he's a nursery. Okay. Day number two. Let's go. So we're just going to tap in tune and turn on to the person that you're asking about energy. Using the Tarot of the Abyss. 
and we are going to get cracking. So what are your person's feelings for you? So saying on deck number one, uh, when I read in front of you, I'll put the cards in front of you and get you to pick them. But when I'm reading um, through digital, I let the I let spirit influence it, which is why the cards fling out the way that they do. And if I ever get more than one, it's always a hand slip. Right. This is crazy. Because you guys, I'll read your cards, okay? And, you, and those of you who read tarot go, that is crazy, okay? Cards. Ten of Pants. Ten of Pentacles. The Moon. Temperance. Strength. And the Magician. So, why is this crazy? In tarot, we have things called Major Arcanas and Minor Arcanas. The Major Arcanas are the big things that are happening in your life okay big life situations and the minor arcanas are the bits that give us the more information so to speak out of five cards you have pulled four major arcanas so for your person this situation between the two of you is very and so to, to be fair as well actually just looking down the chariot staring at me as well so i'm going to lump that over here and say out of six cards you've got five major arcanas so you have mega things going on your person has mega emotions for you they are seeing this as a big influence on their lives okay big stuff going on here now with the ten of pants over here this is talking about family it's talking about joy it's talking about love it's talking about the connection between the two of you but it's also talking about an ending and a new beginning and with the chariot staring at me at the top of the deck as well I feel like your person is starting to make headway with what they want from this connection. So they are going to come in with movement, full guns blazing, saying, I want this to work. I want us to have a family. I want us to have the white picket fence. I want to commit to you. I want this relationship to work. So your person's emotions are, are, are real and very, very big and very deep rooted. With it being pentacles energy, it works with the element of air. And, uh, sorry, works with the element of earth. And earth energy is deep rooted. So it's all about roots. It's about stability. It's about security. And your person wants to bring these roots to you. Okay, so there is roots energy here. I just got the song. I remember if any of you guys remember this. It's showing me, showing my age now. But Sponge, S-P-U-N-G-E, did a song called Roots. Um, and it talks about uh, how, you know, don't take it for granted the roots that you planted will be fine so it's possible this relationship has been going on on and off <laughs> for a while or it's just the roots that the two of you are building together or have been going through together so you have got the stability energy coming up and the chariot you've got movement towards it so your person right off the bat wants to build a future with you wants to build their roots so again major now the major arcana as you got are the magician and strength the moon and temperance so the the thing that doesn't concern me so much but bothers me a little bit with this is temperance temperance for me is one of the more complicated cards in tarot because it's it kind of shows it talks about alchemy it talks about changes which is what's going on with you guys okay they are going through this alchemy they are going through these changes of working out what it is that they want um, and with the two of cups on this as well, again, love emotions are here, but there's delays on it, okay? Now, the reason why there's delays on it is the moon, and that's saying that there is more to come to light over this situation. So let's find out what that is. Let's use the Lenore map. So what is going to come to light over this situation? Okay, talking about changes, so we've got the ship, changes, travel perhaps. They might have life goals that they've set out that they want to accomplish, that they're going to want your support on, um, but they're feeling that you might disagree with what they want to do with their life. So they've probably got these life plans on where things are heading um, and what they want, and they would like you to be a part of that, but they're also in their head about it as well. So they can see the potential for the two of you to move things forward and progress together um, and have a future with one another. But they're also torn because they've made life plans and they, they want to still do those life plans, but potentially at the same time as having you by their side. And they don't know if you will agree to their life plans. So that's what stagnates the situation. 
Do you mean to recap that? I feel like I should recap that. They want to be with you. They've got very strong emotions for you. They've been planning what they want to do with their life as well. So it could be career, it could be travel, it could just be goals that they want to accomplish. And they want to still achieve those goals, but they'd also like to be in a relationship with you. So they, they don't know how supportive you would be in achieving their, helping them to achieve their goals. And that's where they get a little bit delayed because they're like, well, I want to do this first and that first before we talk about kids and a family and picket fences and things like that. So that's where the delays are. Which isn't too bad because through open communication, you guys can work through that. And I feel that that's where the magician and strength comes in. So strength being the power dynamic between the two of you, really kind of going on that inner strength. It's going to be a little bit tough for you two to kind of progress in this forward. There is really going to need to be open knowledge and open understanding of the situation for one another. But your energies will align with the magician, which again brings us back to the Ten of Pentacles, where the two of you can work together to build this future. So your person's emotions for you are extremely real. Um, they're very big, very big emotions for you um, and can see that future open communication on what goals you want to achieve with your life. And the other thing of that is your person wants to be a provider. I feel they want to help provide for you, especially if you do decide that you want to have a family or there's already families involved. Um, they have this kind of providing energy, so they're going to want to make sure that they can balance those energies out before offering you that level of commitment that you want. I feel we should do that in the coming weeks as well, actually. We'll have a look at doing a commitment one. Uh, I said at the start about intentions. So in the next two weeks, we'll, we'll look at intentions and we'll look at their commitments towards you as well. Um, and if you need me, I have got spaces for video readings and I have there, there's a bigger tier. I've, my my waitlist has gone up now, Hunter's at nursery. <laughs> Um, but I have got um, spaces for video readings and I have got voice note readings, same day return on Instagram or Facebook to find me, Mr. Love Tower, look blue, blue tick and say, hey, Ellie, it's me <laughs> and I will be there. I love you all. Um, thank you for supporting me and the bump growing and all the love and support that you give my family over the years I've been here. Um, what a journey we've had together from being like first starting YouTube at my early 30s, being a young fledgling and now, you know, full on writer, author, um, mom. <laughs> it's just like crazy. My life just went did a 180, uh, which is totally beautiful. So I love you all and I thank you all for your support, wisdom, guidance and love. See you soon, button means.